Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Waldhart and you are here with Amanda's InspirationStation.com. Welcome, welcome to this week's Weekly Wednesday. Can you believe that it is the last Wednesday of September? Oh, it's crazy. Um, we live in Wisconsin, southern Wisconsin, and we're finally starting to feel fall weather, like 60 degrees, and I love it. 60 degrees are my favorite. Um <clears throat> It's like, especially if it's sunny during the day, because it's like so beautiful outside, <laughs> but it's not hot and it's not cold. It's like perfect. So today we are going to be doing kind of one project, not two. I know I always talk about how I pick a stamp set in a bundle and I do two projects, but technically we are doing two projects because we're going to do this adorable little box, which is super easy, super cute. And on the inside, we are going to do our second part of the project. We are going to make six three by three little note cards. And I made mine all little thank you note cards um, using the Scottish, Chris, the little Scotty dog. What's the official name? Christmas Scotty. Um, this is actually a bundle um, and it comes with a punch. So super fun, super easy. I absolutely love how these little cards turned out. They're not hard at all all especially with a punch this is such an easy easy project it really really truly is and underneath in the link below i actually have a link for the free project sheet so it'll show the pictures of the projects it'll give all the measurements and all of the supplies so super fun super easy so we're gonna we're gonna do this today um the other stamp set we are adding a stamp set to this though um only because with the cards here i needed something smaller i needed a smaller seine and the scenes in the christmas scotty were a little bit bigger now you by all means could put um you know mary on the front of yours and then merry christmas or however you want to do it i made mine thank you cards because i think this is a nice little gift to give somebody um so i used the celebrating you stamp set along with it because i wanted it for that little thank you right here all right so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we are using the stylish shape dies for the stitched circle. And then we're using the layering circle dies for the scallop circle. So this is gonna go um, on the front of our box and um, not the scallop piece, but all of the same size stitched circles are gonna go on the inside. All right. So to start with, um, we, we're going to do the box. So let's go ahead and do the box first, and then I'll go over measurements and different things like that with you. So for the box, we need, um, I have two pieces of basic black. One is going to measure um, at five and a half by five and a half, which is this piece. And then this piece is five and three eighths and five and three eighths. The bottom needs to be smaller than the top just a smidge so that the top can go over the bottom. So once you have your two squares, which are equal squares, you're just gonna bring out your Simply Score tool and you're just gonna score it on one inch on all four sides, on both the top and the bottom. So we're just gonna, we're gonna, and of course I had to jump the track. We're gonna go one inch, we're gonna turn it, and we're gonna go one inch, and we're gonna turn it, and go one inch, and then we're gonna turn it and go one inch. So easy peasy. Now another thing you can do if you don't have the Simply Score tool, you could bring out your paper trimmer like I have. There is a score um, little button knob here and then a cutter. You could always just use this too. So you're gonna score one inch, score one inch, score one inch, and then score one inch. Okay, that's it, that's it for that, all right? Now we're gonna get out our paper snips here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to, it doesn't matter which side you choose because it's a square, but you, you don't, you're gonna cut on the score lines, but you don't wanna cut 
on the score lines here, turn it, cut on the score lines. You're gonna do either the bottom and the top or the sides. So you pick, obviously it's easier to cut from the bottom. So I'm going to cut on the score line like this and I'm going to create like a little dart. Um, so by creating a little dart, you're cutting on the score line, but then you're cutting a little bit more like that. Now we've done the bottom, now we're gonna do the other side, the top. You're just doing opposite sides of whatever side you choose. And we're gonna get rid of this. The reason why we're doing these little darts is because whenever it is a box, um, it is a lot easier to close it when it has a little bit of wiggle room. Whoopsie. Um, I just kind of ripped that a little bit. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on this one. Just gonna get out the little box with the little darts. That's what I like to call them. I know I've heard other people call them different things. I call them little darts because that's what they look like to me. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. And that's that. Now, when I do boxes, I like to use green glue, um, our Tombow green glue. And I like to use our Tombow green glue because it gives me a few minutes or a few seconds to really kind of wiggle it around to make sure that my box is straight. But before we do that, we're gonna varnish the creases. So we want to bring these in and just varnish all these creases. If I used tear and tape, um, once you lay tear and tape down, it's, it's down, but there it is. So what we wanna do is we want to bring in these little sides here like this, and then we just wanna adhere it like this. So on these little four tabs, we're gonna put some glue. Now, if I did tear and tape, which many, many do, um, I just don't like it because like I said, if I put tear and tape right down there, if I go to lift this up and I get it a little crooked, um, I don't really have any wiggle room to um, fix it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of give it a little pinch here, just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing for this side. And we're just going to give it a little pinch. I'm going to set that aside over here. We're going to do the same thing because that's our top. It's a little bit bigger. We're going to do the same thing here now for our bottom. We're going to just bring up the little score lines here and burnish them with our bone folder. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. So here are our little, our little tabs. We're just gonna place them down. Oops, there we go. Give it a little pinch. Like that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And there's the bottom of our box, okay? Now, we're gonna set these aside right now because we don't need this. We're gonna decorate our top of our box last, um, but we'll set this aside right now because now we're gonna start to go to our little three by three cards. So I have these, um, six of these white pieces of cardstock. They are measured at three by six and they're scored at three. Now, because I'm using these as the cards, I use the basic white thick. Um, I want the card to be a thicker card base. I, whenever I'm using base, like a white card base or a vanilla card base, I always use the thick and the very white and the very vanilla. I like my card to be th like a thicker card, not a thin, a thin card. So I just used my bone folder for all of them, but now I'm gonna kind of put them all together and I'm just gonna give it one more little push like that, okay? So here are my six little cards. Now I have six envelopes. We sell these envelopes um, with Stampin' Up right in our annual catalog. 
So I have those and we're going to decorate the tops, but we're going to do that last. So let's do our um, cards first. I have six pieces of this beautiful designer series paper. I love this. It's from the cottage, hmm, <laughs> cottage something. Um, it is in, I, that's terrible. It is in our, it's in our mini and it's near the back. It's called cottage something. I know it is called that. And right here, it is called Gingham Cottage. Ah, I knew it. I knew I would get it, um, but if, it would take me some time. So I just picked six different colors, and these are the six that I chose. So I'm going to set these aside. These all measure at two and three-fourths by two and three-fourths because they're all going to be the back of our cards. So let's go ahead and do that first and then we'll do some stamping. So I'm just going to bring out my stamp and seal here and I'm just going to put some stamp and seal on the back of these and I'm just going to center those. Doesn't matter what order we go in right now by any means. Just pick which side of designer series paper that you like. Now, you don't have to use this designer series paper. You could, we have all kinds of beautiful designer series paper that you could choose from. I just thought it was cute with the dog. And we're going to do this. All right, so there's five and six. Now, I have some scraps of these exact same colors over here because we're going to cut out bows for them because the bows on the dogs are actually matching the paper from the background. So we are going to punch those out along with our dogs. But before we do that, let's go ahead. We have six circles here. We need to stamp the thank you at the top of each of them. So I'm gonna bring out my Memento ink and I have my little thank you here. And I'm just going to stamp thank you at the top of them. And I'm going to try to get as close as I possibly can to the top of that stitch line. There we go, there's that. And actually why I have this out, we're gonna do the thank you on the one that is going to go on the front of the box too. Then our, our stamping's done. This project is very, um, very kind of simple. It, it really truly is a simple project. All right, so before we assemble, let's go ahead and let's, let's get out all of our pieces so we have our pieces to assemble. So let's do our bows. So we need a red bow. We need a pink bow. And, oops, we have red. We need a green bow. And a yellow bow. An orange bow. And then we need a black and white gingham bow. There we go. So there is our scraps for the bows. So there's that. So now we need some dogs and I have some scrap. This is another thing that's nice about this too, is I have some scrap. Just take your scrap paper. You could even take your scrap DSP paper and do these bows. That's what I did. So right now I'm cutting out six, seven dogs because we need, we need six for the cards and then we need one for the front. Um, now, I'm getting an extra little black bow here, which I'm probably going to save that for a separate project. So four, five, six, and then seven. All right. So there's our scraps. Okay. We have some little black bows now. We could use that for a totally different project if we wanted to. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna place these circles flat to our card. So let's flip them over 
and we're going to place them flat to our cards. Oops. All right. So we're going to center them on the front of our cards here. And we're going to do that. Once you like actually take the time just to do your cutting and your punching, and then the stamping didn't take very long. It doesn't, it doesn't take very long. So now we want to punch up, we want to put dimensionals on all of these little Scotty dogs. And I want to make sure that they're all going the right direction. I want my Scotty, because obviously punching them in black, I could have them go this way or I could have them go this way. I have them going this direction. So we're going to put some dimensionals on them going that direction. Like that. See, it's kind of like an assembly line now. I feel like this project should have been one of those like projects where it's like a reel where you can fast forward it. Because I think you probably get the picture by me doing one of these. All right, so let's peel these off. We'll just make a little pile over there. And we'll go like that. All right, so now we're going to just place our little Scotty dogs on our little cards. Super cute. Just like that. And now we have our little bows. Now I am going to um, not pop these up. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm just going to use my glue dots here. And I'm going to roll out my glue dots here. And I'm just going to place these all the way up the strip here. Just like this, and then I'll peel them off like little stickers. There's that. All right, so. We're gonna kind of go like this. So I have my orange one here. I'm gonna place my orange one there. We have our black and white one. We have our green, our red. Look at how cute these are. I think this is such a cute little fun, little gift to give somebody. There's our cards, you guys. How simple was that? So let's bring in our box. We have the two sizes, so we have the smaller one and the bigger one. So we want to be able to put these in here. Let's make sure they fit, and they do. But before we do that, we want to do our envelopes, and then we'll decorate the outside of our box. So I just wanted to make it a little bit more fancy and add a little bit something to the back of the envelope. So what I did is I took some more of these scraps that I have here. And I literally just placed some snail adhesive on the flap of my envelope. And then I lined it up all the way to the edge like this. And then we are just going to trim around like this. And that is all we're going to do. Now I'm going to cut this off like this. And I will use this scrap for something else. See how they were perfect for my bows? So you never know. They're, they're perfect. And then there is your first, there's your, your envelope right there. So let's go ahead and start doing this. So we'll put this one down below. <clears throat> we'll do the next one, which is red. And I kind of like to do it as an assembly line, so... If I'm doing um, multiple cards for like a swap or for a gift like this, I'm going to put the adhesive. I kind of like to do everything at the same time, whether it's 
I stamp everything or I punch everything. Um, I'm going to now just put these all on and then I'll go through and I will trim them all. I don't want to put it on, trim it off. Put another one on, trim it off. I'm, I'm going to do it like an assembly. That's how I feel I'm, I go the fastest. All right, and I got a little, little adhesive on here. Okay, now I'm just going to flip this over and I'm going to trim them. There's another one. Again, I'm going to keep these scraps because you never know. I may use a heart punch with them. There's still plenty of scraps for it. Or another little die. And we'll just trim these off. I love little three by three note cards. I think that they're adorable. Um, I think they make great little gifts. I think if you want, you know, maybe at work, you just want to leave one for your coworker. Um, they're just, it's just a nice, sweet little thought. And I love it. All right. So let's see here where we got here. We got the red. We got the yellow. We got the orange. We got the green. And then we got the pink. Super cute. Now the true test is let's see if our box top fits. Yay, it does. All right. So now we're going to decorate the top of our box. So we do need one more bow, which I didn't even think about for the um, outside. So here's the outside. So now this piece measures a little bit differently. This piece here is three by three, whereas the other designer series papers were two and three fourths by two and three fourths. This one's a little bit bigger because of the box size. I still wanted kind of a thick border. So I'm going to place this circle flat to the scallop circle but I'm going to use dimensionals for the scallop circle and I'm going to use dimensionals for the dog. So we're going to do this. And then the last thing we'll do, we'll put on the, the dog bow and then we're also going to add a linen thread bow. So we're going to put that there, put that there. We need a glue dot here. Oh, you know what I did? I, I'm so sorry. I decided on the front that I wanted a different color. I originally had it like this, but I was like, you know what? I liked it in the card, but for the box, I felt like it needed a little pop. So I actually changed it and made it red. So that's what we're going to do. I, I like the red better for the outside of the box. All right. So now I have my little bow maker here and I have some just regular linen thread, and I'm just gonna add some of that. Um, the baker's twine would have been really cute too if you um, have the sweet sorbet. That would have, that would be cute too. So I'm gonna take a longer piece like this, and I'm going to bring the ends together because I want a double bow, and I'm gonna just wrap this around my my maker, and whatever piece I'm gonna cross it. Whatever piece is on the top, I'm now gonna tuck underneath and between the two pegs so it's on the back side and now I'm just going to bring it forward between the two pegs and now I'm just going to tie a knot. Um, I know that was fast but if you scroll through my videos on YouTube I do have a video on just this bow maker. All right so now I have this adorable linen thread bow and I'm going to use my glue dots and I'm just going to Put that over to the side. There you have it. What a cute little gift idea to give somebody. Um, I did not, oh, I see I did not put thank you on the top of this one. So you can if you want to or you don't have to. Um, I don't know. I think it looks cute either way, to be honest with you. So what a cute gift. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this um, week's Weekly Wednesday video. If you need to get any supplies this week, you can go straight to amandasinspirationstation.com. You can hit shop now. I also have my current host code up always. So um, please use that if you um, if your orders are $149 or less. If they're $150 um, or more, then you would actually collect your own host rewards. So do not use that host code. Thank you so much for watching my video today. And if you are not a YouTube subscriber of mine, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And if you liked the video today, please hit that you liked the video. Or if you liked the project, please hit that you liked it. Don't forget to print out your free printable project sheet. And you guys have a great day. I will see you next week for Weekly Wednesday and we'll already be in October. That's crazy. Okay, bye everyone.